Contractors, Foxes, Grouper or Sesco. What one wins? Ooh. Now, personally, I actually view this as a bit of a pointless debate. However, we are going to get into it and I am going to hopefully describe to you the overall difference between utilising contractors, foxes, Grupo and Seska on a very specific build because I see a lot of weird misinformation about this and I say misinformation because technically what people are saying is wrong however at the same time that they're wrong it's also zero point going into it because the differences are literally 0.14% and 1.83% that is literally it on average and this is 0.14% on body shot and a difference of 1.83% on headshot on average there are slight differences such as uh, the highest it really gets on headshot is a difference of 1.88% oh no there's a 0.05% difference but this is how minuscule these differences are so overall there's not much difference however we are going to go into those differences and hopefully also explain why technically one is better than the other in x scenario and then we're going to change scenario and then go over what one would be best in that scenario now the builds in question are pretty simple it's four piece strikers coaties mask contractors gloves obviously we've got a lot of crit chance crit damage here i think overall stats are like 139 crit damage and 59 critical hit chance however what if we swap the gloves out for cheska this means we can put crit damage literally everywhere we end up at 63 crit chance and then obviously fox's prayer and then as the title suggests we're also going to look at grupo what one is technically the best now this is going to have a dual purpose sort of thing because in one side we have incursions and on the other side we have open world and everything else you want now ideally even with Ouroboros, you don't want to be running the striker's chest as well as the backpack. Backpack only. As you can see, I'm running the striker's chest and backpack in this mission now, and I very rarely even get to, like, half stacks. So, yeah, it's kind of redundant. So going for a Grupo or Cheska chest with Obliterate will be the better option. That being said, we're going to look at incursions. And this is kind of twofold because we can look at it individually as then as well as with all of the buffs that the team gives, which I'm going to try my best to actually go over. Now, the math of these four builds is as follow. They're aptly named Contractors, Foxes, Cheska and Grupo. The main difference between them is obviously Contractors has damage to armor, Foxes has more damage to targets that have cover, and Cheska and Grupo are going to have higher critical hit damage rates because they're not sacrificing a stat for the crit. So they're pretty self-explanatory. They all, everything else is basically the same. They all have the exact same fire rate, the exact same weapon damage. The only thing that is really going to be different is the amount of detox, the amount of damage to armor, as well as their crit, depending on the piece they actually have. This is their DPS. Now, all three are being compared to Contractor's Gloves, and the reason I'm doing it this way is Contractor's Gloves is the one, as well as what a lot of people do recommend for the incursions. And this is just your individual damage with no other buffs other than what your build comes with. Close range Coyote's buff is taken into account. So, up first is Foxes. Now, although these don't seem too far behind, 0.7% behind, this is not a lot. What you need, then need to take into consideration is the fact that this is just single. This is just you. So when we start adding in other buffs from other players, this can very easily change. Now when it comes to Cheska, we are losing out on 2.84% headshot damage, but we have gained 0.14% on body damage. This is a minuscule difference. This is why I would argue that in Incursion, Contractors over Cheska, but out of Incursion, Cheska over Contractors. And then with Grupo, we're kind of in the same boat. We've lost a little bit more on Headshot, but we're also not quite doing as much as what Cheska is doing on Body Shot. So Grupo are basically immediately out of the equation. So now the argument basically becomes Contractors or Cheska. Now for the incursion, for the ads, 
the difference in body shot literally equates to 502. Not 5,002, not 502,000, not 502 million. 502 damage difference between them on body shot. This is not enough to even bother arguing. Like, this is so tiny, there's no point. So, for dealing with ads, body shots, if you can get a few headshots in, great, but body shots, perfectly fine, the difference is minuscule. However, when it comes to the bosses, right, as well as especially the lovebirds, they're both quite large. Well, all three, I suppose, really. Um, especially one of them. <clears throat> um, they're pretty large. They are quite stationary when you're doing the DPS. So being able to hit headshots is more than feasible. Easily more than feasible. So being able to get, or at least guarantee, that extra just over 1% or really just under 2% increase in damage by use of contractors in my personal opinion, is more than worth it. But still, again, all we're really doing here is splitting hairs. Now, there is another big argument that is in favor of Cheska, and it is just quite simply, they give another 10% critical hit chance just from equipping one piece. Now, I've said it a few times, and I'm gonna say it again. When you are running an Ouroboros build, your secondary weapon is quite crit-starved. There's not a lot of crit on that weapon. So having a Cheska piece can help alleviate that, especially if you are running something like Coyotes. And then in tandem with the video that I put out yesterday, where you no longer really need to run an ACS. You can if you want, nothing wrong with it, but there's no real need for it. Ouroboros does just fine by itself. Having a longer range option, such as an AR, to use is going to be very beneficial in this area, especially if you are going to be using it predominantly at the 15 meters plus, so that you get the mid-range Coyotes buff, along with Cheska, and then whatever crit mod you put on the weapon, i.e. a FAMAS. This is a very, very viable option. However, it's also not going to be a very good option in the incursion because everything is up in your face anyway. However, now we need to add in incursion buff. So we have FI, which is here, 0.25. We then have the full buff of firewall with two enemies being in the shield, lovebirds, as well as then opportunistic as well as sledgehammer. Now, I don't have enough space to put all of them in, so I've multiplied them together. However, the equations are correct, I, I promise you. We also have a 5% increase in detox, so 10 becomes 15 and 18 becomes 23. Pretty self-explanatory. And this is their DPS. Now, the one thing you might notice is that Foxes has lost 0.3% more damage. Now, what this actually means is, technically speaking, Foxes are the worst. Yeah, not by a lot, barely 1%, but Foxes are technically the worst. Although they are still going to do more headshot damage than both Cheska and Grupo, the difference in overall performance in general ad clear as well as the bosses, it basically ends up just being a toss up between Contractors and Cheska. Now there are some players and as much as I love him, he's wrong, but as much as I love him, Rousey swears by Cheska. Like, he always probably will in this situation. The difference is absolutely minuscule. There's no point us arguing about it. However, I do agree that in general, day-to-day -day use, out and about in the world, Cheska, absolutely. However, with something like Incursion, I am definitely of the opinion that Contractors are going to be the better option. One, because that increase in headshot damage is going to actually make a huge difference. We're not running Oxidizers here. So it's going to make a huge, huge difference because, let's face it, at this point, Strikers is meta for the incursion. So that extra 2%, brilliant. However, in open world, Cheska, absolutely, as well as also alleviates pressure on your secondary weapon. But again, there's not really any point in getting grumpy over this. The difference is minuscule. As long as you're running Cheska or Contractors, you're basically fine. Have fun. Good luck. Don't die. It's bad for the health.